Alright, this is probably going to be my last episode for today, but welcome guys to another episode of Castile. Where we are obviously going on in the forwards and we gain base tax or 10 prestige. Long term wise, this is a better investment, especially since St. Lucia is already a 9. This is, this is going to be a 9 province, guys. A 9. Plus, it's a river estuary. Oh my goodness, this is like the, this is like the place everyone wants to go to. It's New Orleans in the olden days. Or it would be like Boston. Oh yeah, look how much that gave me. Oh, that nine Steve, man. That makes me feel like a oh, god. Look at that. That that lowered my income. That lowered my like payment by a little bit. That just made my day. Okay, let's go colonize right next to it so we can just start like slowly going up the coast. Over here down in these colonies, they aren't doing as well. It kind of stinks. I think it's because of all this tropicalness. So, what we might actually do, considering that this is a little bit of a weaker trade node. I mean, it is. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It is a little bit of a weaker trade node. I'm so glad natives are weaker than us. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be really scared right about now. Like, really scared. Natives are weaker than us. So, no matter how much they try, we're still going to be stronger than them. But, yeah. Oh man, the three missionaries think must be pretty nice, whatever now. But we have our theologian right now helping us convert. So that's good. Martinique. We should. Oh, salt crisis, really? I'm just trying to be a good guy. I'm not trying to do anything. Let's build a fort right there. That way we can defend our people. And let's just keep on building. Keep on building. 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 Let's see. Did they get any good provinces? Just so I know. No, they got pretty wimpy provinces. A, com a vastly, they are, these provinces are vastly weaker to ours. Like, vastly weaker. We are way better. Way, way, way better. Let's see, we have an advisor slot. Um, I actually won't take that because I think we could actually, like, um, gain a couple more. And I think I'm going to be colonizing over here because, like I said, over there you have so much more, like, Providence and yeah it's just this is so many better provinces over here we could honestly like own this trade node and own these provinces and Portugal you are an aggressive expansionist like you guys have already colonized three new colonies and done new stuff so yeah that's why I think I'm gonna call that that's why I think I'm gonna spend the vast majority of my colonization over here Bible translated a priest and colony has translated the Bible into our language and it started to distribute copies of it to nearby villages throughout Molucca. Heresy! Burn the priest and his books! Or... Or... Great news! Spread the Bible far and wide. Okay, so this is basically... Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not really going for a Protestant, like, Catholicism, so... Yeah, no. Yeah, you guys also get on the boats. I'm gonna have you guys go over here with your sister pro sister provinces, and yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be really where my uh, first trade capital is gonna be. But this is really where I'm gonna have my first like colonial empire, my first colonial colony. This is gonna be so awesome, so dang awesome. Okay, and we have. Let's see, we are like 40% way there to where we want to be. We have a couple cardinals disloyal to us, that's kind of stinking. But we're catching up to all of them. These are all of our cardinals, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, they're mine. They're not yours. They're mine. Let's see, three advisor slot still. 3.6 right now, we're supporting two colonies. But I do believe we're going to be on the last. We're making that 636 that we got in like the very beginning last which is good because we need you okay and have you guys go over here to make sure this colony does not die we have to make sure this colony does not die and there we go all this good land all this good land this is producing 3.65 for me at least right now it's only because of its tax disefficiency because of you know we should actually start gaining more like a uh, you know, to keep it actually going, we should probably should, like, send some ships down there to go, like, protect it. You guys, by the way, I completely forgot about you guys. Let's go start. 
Let's go finally find the end of this place. I mean, you guys have been docking up for a couple of years, but let's go finally find the end of this continent. Invest in a new idea, missionaries, let's do it. I'm taking, yeah, by the way, I'm taking down all this until I get to right here because I really do want this uh, missionary strength. That way to help it increase it even more. The colonial enthusiasm, yes. My king, we can decide that we conquer the we conquest as a con conspirator. Okay, sweet. Okay, turn Guadalupe into a city. Uh, Guadalupe. I'm pretty sure that's this one. No. Which one's Guadalupe? That one. Uh, what? Establish colonies on the mainland. Mission cut at least one province in the Spanish main. Oh my, continue reconquista. I don't know, I like this one. Two manpower plus one prestige to Guadalupe. I don't even have to do anything. That sounds pretty good. We just discovered the Inca, guys! Woohoo! Inca travels! Huzzah! Yeah, we just... The Inca have now been discovered, so we now know where the rich gold mine places are. And we're just rapid. We're rapidly going to be trying to find the coast, and I think we finally found the little straight, the little straight across to where we can finally find. Oh dang! This is like, this is like a thick continent, like really thick. No longer loyal to us. That's not good. Let's go fix that. All right, colonial rush. Yes. Oh man, those modifiers right now are stacking up. We're having so many colonial like incidences. It's going to be so nice. And, oh my goodness. Yeah, we finally discovered it. We finally went across the strait. We we're finally across to the other side. And native assimilation, yes. Oh yeah, and this continent is ginormous, people. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. And look at that, guys. Look at this continent. Oh my goodness, it looks so big. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like really, 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 really excited. Okay, let's go like get some more militaristic tech. Tuco army. Let's get into Tuco's. I usually like Tuco's. Um, large cast iron. Still can do that. And the razor. Still the same. Native uprising. King damage to our colonies. Well, ah, oh, dang it. They actually were able to destroy them. Okay, let's try to put it like half. Okay. Yeah, dang it. They actually were able to destroy them. So let's see. Can I build. Units over here? Yes, I can. Build like two of those guys down there. Now let's hope we can. Martinique has a stronger colonial basis, so I don't think they're going to be destroyed fast enough for them to do anything. So we're probably going to be able to save this colony before they'll be able to like build a bigger army for names. Going to be able to build anything. Uh, attempt to erase their pain. Yeah, yeah. Just keep stacking on modifiers. I'm loving all these modifiers. Seriously, it's like making this city grow so fast. It has so many modifiers. Death of a cardinal. Ooh. He will be missed. That's all I gotta say. He will be missed. Okay, and then now I got the advantage over the natives. Ha ha. Yeah, you guys, you guys think you guys forgot to jump on me. Guess what? I have to jump on you. And we almost got enough for diplomatic tech, which is cool. Let's see, we almost got St. Lucia. Just have a couple more armies. Papacy wise. Gonna invest in this guy a little bit, but I think Poland basically stole that guy from me. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that guy back. <laughs> I'll be honest. And there we go. We finished the conversion of one of the most annoying provinces ever. So finally, we could probably finally now bring our troops home, which means we can finally stop supporting this guy. Oh, thank goodness. Let's get this guy right here. Let's gain one more of this uh, diplomat. No, I don't want this guy. I want this guy. There we go. And now we should be making a hefty amount. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those years were were very stressful for everyone. We finally gained. We finally converted Magella, which means I'm gonna instantly convert the culture to a uh, good old-fashioned Castilian might, or as we like to call it. Castilianian, Castilianian, because it sounds cooler. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but let's go send you guys over here. And now the natives are completely done for because now I actually have a real army over there. 
And speaking of which, I actually should, since I now have bigger armies and stuff, I should start building more bogs and stuff. Because I have one naval limit. That's good to note. So let's just start building one bog, and we're going to have this one bog patrol our St. Lawrence River. That way we have at least one person going over here, and that way we can start maximizing profits just a little bit. Okay, death of a cardinal again. Man, all of our cardinals just like spontaneously die. I don't really like that at all. They all have spontaneously died. Uh, kind of makes me angry, if I must be honest. Grant privileges, or... Uh... I, I could take a diplomatic power hit. I think I'm gonna try, like I said, I'm gonna try to get the uh, admin tech a little bit, tech down a little bit. Because... Actually, I don't really need to for a little bit. Now that we finally, like... Um... You know, solidified our relations, I really don't need to be teching down that hard anymore. Like, we're doing fantastically well. Okay, you guys, protect trade in... The Gulf of the St. Lawrence. Wait, the so the St. Lawrence is not mine? How? It's literally the only trade node I'm invest. Okay. How do you guys have power over here? You guys have like... Uh... Yeah, that colony should not be able to have that much power. I should be, uh, be able to have more power than you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dang it. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha. We have more power than you now. So, there we go. And let's see. So now St. Lawrence... These guys should be producing a little bit more money for us. Uh, tax efficiency is still pretty bad. Wish I could fix that, but I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that anytime soon. So, just might as well let it happen. Hmm. It's sad, but it's just what the truth is. I can't fix it, so I might as well just let it on go, let it happen. Portugal, though, you guys are an insane colonist, colonistas. The air is safe. Good. And we actually have a decent leader. Oh my goodness. That's good. Alright. So now you guys. Now that we've discovered the Inca, let's see if we can finally end our like long colonial journey. Let's see if we can finally define and finally find the end of this continent. So we can finally start going around. I mean, it can't go on for much longer. Because we still have to cross the uh, Pacific Ocean. But I want to figure out where the ending is. Like, this is exciting. Figuring out where the end is. Figuring out where the destination finally comes to a native uprising. It is the most enthusiastic thing. I just, I don't know, I just can't describe it to you guys. National tax modifier, stability cost, administration power. Uh, no, I'm saving all my administration power for this. So I have to get some more technological updates. I'm pretty sure I'm behind in lots and lots of tech. Yeah, we, we have the tech down. We're, we're a little bit behind. I I won't admit that we're a little bit behind. Tensions! France gains a claim on Giwa. Giwa. So now France is now being jerks, I guess. They want to think they can take me on. Well, bring it. I have England, Austria, and Portugal as an ally. So, even if you somehow beat me, I doubt you could beat all of us. I doubt it, France. Don't try, though. I don't want you to try, but... I doubt you guys could beat me. Okay, so we just got a notice for strategic things. And let's see, you guys. Oh, great. Did it freeze? Okay, where are my ships actually? Oh. Okay, well, these guys have, like, absolutely no chance to make it back. And it wasn't due to my fault. It was due to some glitch in the game. I thought these guys were all the way back over there. Uh, well, it seems like we lost two more. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, well, we discovered the bottom of the map, and there's still more. Wow. Dang, there's like an entire coastline right there. Like, I think we, what we have to do is just like block up the regions right here to keep out anyone else. Luxembourg just did some religious disorder. Between which, so how did everyone turn out in the end? Uh, France remained its Protestantism self. Uh, I gained a diplomatic tech. And everyone, islands became Protestant, and no one became Reformationist. Huh. Kind of strange. I was hoping kind of maybe, uh... Um... The Trade Republic of Venice, who doesn't even own Venice, while wow, that must be... Kind of sad. Uh, I'm having not good events right now when it comes to stability. But... 
Vince, I was hoping Vince may become Reformationalist, because that is a really good... If you are a Republic, Reformationalist is like a God-given religion. It is so powerful. Like, it's so powerful. Okay, so let's see. Where do we want to invest? Is somebody trying to find me over here? Yeah, they are. So yeah, just invest all my points in this guy. Yeah, that should maximize it. They will never be able to gain past that. I got another colony, guys! Do -do -do. That's awesome. Start colonizing right here. Is it Martinique? It's Martinique. Go right up here. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to fight some rebel. No, they the natives did not want to fight me. That's good. And they did want to fight me there. But I understand. So we're gonna go have to fight. And let's see, we've got another colonialist. Move up here to St. Kicks. And look at that. Slowly but surely, we're getting all this good, good land. I mean, there's some bonuses to like, what was the province I was just looking at? There it is, like, couple river estuaries and the Hudson River estuary. Oh, man. These are all, like, great. Okay, let me just build these right here to make sure that, like, if those were rebellion spawn, they would not instantly get it. Move up my, my soldiers. Okay. And what else we could do? Well, I want to build back my ships that were just lost. Because I know I lost some ships due to the stupid uh, AI or the stupid glitching problems. So I'm going to build three, three ships and we're actually going to start actually trying to control this node over here. Because I'm actually going to start sending people to go trade and actually go do this node. Over here in the Caribbean, I'm not really paying attention to the Caribbean node. I'm pretty sure Portugal owns it. I, I was not shocked about that. Chesapeake, we own a little bit of power in the Chesapeake. New, Portu New Portugal and Portugal are just like fighting over this. In fact, New Portugal has a much bigger share than Portugal does, but ultimately, we have the biggest. Sh wow, we have one ship, and it's completely dominating the rest of these guys. Even Denmark has some power. Wow, Denmark has some power over here. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Castile gains a claim. Crusade against Oran. Well. I don't really care about Oran. Like, Oran's not really my thing right now, especially since it's allied to another big gigantic friend. It's not allied to another big gigantic friend, so we could actually go to war with, the, with them. Hmm. Take Oran. I think this is another, like, good center of trade place. Yeah, important center of trade. Thanksgiving! Friendship with the natives! Thank goodness it's Thanksgiving. Oh wait, no, that was the, this is the Thanksgiving event. The other one was just 100 natives just joined my colony. Sweet! Okay, increase defense. Continue the Reconquista. What would I have to take? Uh, rewards. We need to secure by establishing a presence across the sea to the south. A few Christian cities there should be safe for protection for a while. So what is that actually... Hmm. I don't know. What does that actually do? What do I actually... Oran. Okay, yeah. Oran. You know what? To finish my event and to finish the Reconquista, especially since you guys are at war with the Ottomans, shoot. Yeah, let's... Could do it for so many reasons. Would that change it? No. Man, I have so many reasons to declare war on you guys. I mean, look at this. Okay, okay, let's not go in half, like... You know, let's not just go in halfway. We have to really be thinking about this, so... Let me first, like, go send you guys to go help trade in... You know what? I'll have you guys go trade in St. Louis River. That way we can... Or the Caribbean. That way you guys can start protecting that. Um... You guys, though. Let's go get our actual 10,000 ships back. Go send them over here. And let's start transporting our ships over to here. And then we're going to go fight off the uh, Algerian army. So I think this would be actually pretty cool. If I could gain a conquest on them and quickly go take over their city of Oran, then I officially, like, block them out. I officially own everything I need to, and we could probably gain Telemkin too, so that means we actually gain a good amount of coast. Yeah, I, I'm liking this. I like this idea. We'll go to war with Algiers. 
will finally tie the knot and go to war with Algiers and just own this provinces. I mean, they're rightfully ours anyway, so yes, we're gonna go to war with with Algiers, everyone. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.